my husband Tim, such a fun guy, great personality, very athletic. He'd go out for runs, but he'd come back with bloody knees. I was out riding my bike. It was, it was a tough trail that I was on, but I shouldn't have crashed. Somebody who was a very upbeat, fun guy started slamming doors at home. I would say he his personality did a 180. Right now, you know, I, I know that I have uh, minor involuntary symptoms, and I know at one point I'm not going to be able to drive. We had a really good neurologist in Sacramento who diagnosed him with Huntington's disease. Tim was 39, I was 36. I, I got the task of having to sit my kids down and, and tell them that their dad was sick. My mom had Huntington's disease. My aunt had Huntington's disease, and my granddad had Huntington's disease. And I tested positive for the Huntington's gene in 1996. The reason that my lab works on Huntington's disease is due to the patients and the patient advocates. And we are trying so hard to get our cellular therapies into clinical trials. So Huntington's disease is caused by a protein called Huntington. When it's mutated, it builds up in the neurons and causes neuronal death. Currently, there are no effective therapies for Huntington's disease. Usually strikes in a person's 30s, and um, death usually occurs 10 to 15 years later. One of the common uh, symptoms of Huntington's disease is the chorea, um, which is Latin for uh, dance-like movement. You know, your arms and legs and, and your, you know, your head moves all over. They can actually make people fall over, cause people to choke while they're drinking, even something simple like water. And it's very difficult to have a conversation and, you know, the longer you have the disease because your tongue's also moving. It can devastate the family emotionally and financially. We've known plenty of people who've been let go from jobs because they found out they were gene positive for Huntington's. So Huntington's is tough. And I'm an advocate now for stem cell research because it's really our hope. As far as stem cell research goes, I'm very impressed with what uh, Jan Nolta and uh, Gerhard Bauer are doing at uh, UC Davis. They actually give me a lot of hope. We're working with mesenchymal stem cells from a healthy donor's bone marrow and using them as paramedic cells. Uh, so we've shown that they migrate effectively through tissue and will deliver a molecule into adjacent neurons that will shut down production of this mutant Huntington protein. So instead of um, treating the symptoms of the disease, we hope to eradicate the protein itself that is responsible for the disease. The more I learn about stem cell research, I can educate others. Who better to educate other Huntington's families than another Huntington's family on what, um, on this big hope we have for stem cell research.